Hi, I'm Chris Kemp. Welcome to the SaaS Insights Vlog, the vlog mini-series where we share tips and insights on the fascinating world of SaaS contracting. Today, we'll talk about liability clauses in SaaS contracts. The customer and the vendor come at this from opposite standpoints. The best the vendor will ever do is get paid the price, so it's interested in limiting downside risk. The customer, on the other hand, gets the potential upside benefit of the SaaS service, but will want to recover the losses it suffers from the vendor if things go wrong. The liability clause is where these two different viewpoints are thrashed out. This vlog puts forward a five-step approach to managing the discussion. Step one, put four corners around the contract. Make sure the contract clearly sets out the party's rights and obligations. Do any pre-contractual statements have contractual effect? Are implied terms, duties that English law applies unless they're expressly excluded, are they in or out? Step two, recognize the types of liability that by law can't be excluded or restricted, like liability for fraud or negligence causing injury or death. Step three, is liability in any other area unlimited? For example, there's a category of indemnity liability that market practice can recognize as unlimited, typically covering claims for infringement of IP rights. Step four, English law distinguishes between consequential and direct loss. Step four is that UK market practice generally recognizes that consequential loss can be excluded altogether although the borderline between consequential and direct loss is fuzzy. Finally, step five. This is to address direct loss, which is generally either wasted expenditure or the cost of an alternative. A common formula in SaaS contracting is to establish capped liability for direct loss by reference to a measure of contractual value, annual subscription fees for the SaaS service, for example. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to hear more from us, check out our blogs and vlogs at kempitlaw.com.